ladies, and welcome. You're listening to the Wise Up and Rise Up radio show. That's all about empowering you to wise up so you can rise up and increase your confidence, self-love, and achieve your dreams. With me, your host, LJ Jackson, on Amazing Women of Power, the world's leading positive programming network powered by Raven International. So if you're a woman that makes investing in your personal growth a priority or you're looking to be empowered and inspired to do so, then this show is for you. So stay tuned as I interview a woman who definitely has a story, a message, and talent to share from wising up so she can rise up to her greatness. But before I bring her on, I definitely want to share her bio with you so that you can really appreciate her journey and and her expertise as well. Her name is Bautista Grumold, and she's a published author, empowered speaker, entertainer, and co-founder of Body Design Formula Systems and the International Institute of Body Design. Bautista Gromold started her professional journey at the age of three years old at her parents' Academy of Dance and Dramatic Arts in Switzerland. She made an international career as a ballet and flamenco artist and has performed all over the world. Certified as a personal trainer, Bautista is primarily a Body Design Formula 7 grief master teacher in the Dr. Fitness USA protocol. Bautista's expertise is in strength training, includes structural realignment of the spine, getting rid of back pain without surgery, injury, prevention, and post-rehabilitation of injury. Certified as a practitioner in five healing arts modalities, Bautista understands that fitness philosophy of quieting the mind and strengthening the nervous system will play in the true integration of body mind, and spirit towards the complete consciousness shift within an individual and the evolution of the planet. So I know that was a mouthful, but as you can see, she's done a lot, and she has yet to do more. She regularly appears as a celebrity guest expert on radio shows on the topic of fitness and consciousness. Without further ado, Bautista, welcome. Well, thank you. Hello. I'm so excited to be here and to have this uh, interview with you and share a little piece of uh, my journey with you and your listeners. Thank you. Yes, great. And we are absolutely excited to have you here and get some tips and insight from you. And so, Bautista, one of the things that I like to do, since this is a Wise Up and Rise Up radio show, is to give the listeners some key tips to help them wise up. And so, do you have two key tips for the listeners today? I sure do. And uh, um, the first tip that I have for your listeners is very important. This tip might actually save your life and extend it and change it entirely. And my first tip for you is include strength training in your fitness activities. It doesn't have to be done every day. You can do it one, two, three times a week for half an hour, 45 minutes at a time, but include it because it's the most overlooked fitness modality. It's not that popular yet. I think that it's going to get more and more popular as people find out about it. People still have the image of bodybuilders when they hear strength training and lifting weight, but it has so many health benefits and anti-aging benefits on all levels that I would say just make sure to to include it in, in your routine. And my second tip, which has to do also with strength training, but it's on a different uh, level from a different perspective, is contrary to popular belief, it does not have to be hard. Uh, We are in a society of uh, no pain, no gain when we think about fitness, and it does not have to be that way. The way it has to be is sustainable so that it can be um, part of a lifestyle for the rest of your life, not just for these 30 days where you made the resolution that you're going to, you know, get in shape or whatever. But no, 30 days is not going to cut it. It just has to become part of the uh, lifestyle. It has to be sustainable. And the only way it's going to be sustainable is that if it actually feels good and makes you empowered. So, 
no pain, no gain? No way. <laughs> the motto is no pain, more gain. So these are two great tips, and I think that will actually save your life. Wow, definitely. that's amazing. And so when you say um, strength training, so I, I have somewhat of an idea, but for the li- listeners listening to the show, just in case they're confused about what strength training looks like or what that is, can you define it for us? Absolutely. Strength training is actually a category of exercise of its own. It does not have anything to do with walking, stretching, yoga, Pilates, or or aerobics, treadmills. It's a a category of its own. It requires having some uh, weightlifting equipment that looks like uh, maybe some dumbbells or some barbells or, you know, it's best done in a, actually a gym environment which has the proper equipment. But strength training is actually what, what that means. It, it means to, to build strength, right? And so it requires some kind of equipment and you're going to actually lift some weight, push some weight, lift some weight, or do something some weight that require equipment. So that's, you know, a, a really like a layman description, but I think that's self-explanatory. In other words, pumping some iron. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, that helps a lot. Thank you so much for that <laughs> clarification. Okay, so now let's get into the meat and the nitty-gritty of our interview and having you on our show. So, Bautista, um, share with us all about what you're up to and and what's going on with you, and um, I know that you have this expertise, and we're going to have the pleasure of having Dr. Fitness on the next week's show, but for you, um, talk to us. Tell us what's going on. Yes, thank you. So uh, before I get on with uh, where I'm at right now and the message I have to share, I'd like to uh, tell you a little bit of where I come from and what has led me to get here so that you and your listener will have a better understanding of, uh, you know, my why I am so passionate about the message I have to share. Uh, I actually was um, brought up uh, in a family of artists. My my mother was a ballet dancer and my father was a mime. So I made a career as a dancer, first a ballet dancer and then a flamenco dancer. So over the years, uh, I have always... Uh, been in the world of exercise and being in shape or trying to be in shape or, you know, eating well. And, you know, in order to have a career as a, as a professional dancer, you have, to, you have to look good and, you know, you have to fit in your costumes. And so that has always been something that, uh, that has been a priority in my life. And, uh, but, you know, dancing is really hard on the body. And uh, as I grew a little bit, um, I don't like to say older, but, you know, years do go by very fast. So when I got in my, in my 40s, I started to really pay the price of, of um, physically of all those years in dancing. And what happened to me is I started to have, um, to suffer from many injuries uh, related to dancing, and somehow my uh, metabolism changed, my hormones changed, I don't know, whatever happens in women, you know, as uh, the years go by, and somehow I could not keep, uh, uh, I couldn't keep in shape anymore. Something was happening. The injuries were getting worse, and um, I felt like I was going on a spiral da- down. And I, I have a a long history of uh, studying the the power of the mind, the power of uh, thinking, you know, manifesting, and that whole new age philosophy that so many people are into. And I, I internally, uh, intuitively, I knew that I could manifest something that would change that um, predicament I was in. So I uh, made my uh, vision board and I put all my intentions. In one place, you know, like I really put all my my effort and my my uh, my thinking, everything in, into manifesting something that 
could change and get me back in shape. Now, you have to understand that as a dancer, I had already tried pretty much everything through, throughout the years. I had done yoga, Pilates, personal training. I had been on every diet. I have done the stretching, I have the aerobic, you know, everything. So there was not really a whole lot of places to look at of what's next that's really going to fix me, right? Right. Yeah, so so it was kind of like throwing a, a, a balloon to the universe and say, okay, now now what? What's next? And sure enough, as, uh, as uh, the saying says, when you make an intention and when you really uh, desire something that's in alignment with divine purpose, then... Uh, the the universe conspires to make it happen for you. And uh, what happened the next day, I met Dr. Fitness USA. And uh, that changed my life. It changed everything that I believe about working out. It changed my entire philosophy on uh, training and being in shape. And basically, it changed my life. And what happened is... At that same time, I met Dr. Fitness USA. I had some some um, hardship in my life. The economy collapsed. Uh, if you remember, in 2008, we a lot of people suffered from uh, from uh, the, the economy, and my, both my parents passed away within two weeks of each other. So it was a really hard time. Wow, that and was hard. yeah, e- extremely hard. And and I I was already. I had already made the decision to engage in this uh, program that Dr. Fitness USA had uh, had to offer, and um, and thank God because it saved me emotionally, physically, and I have to tell you that within a couple of months of uh, of practicing his principles that are not only physical at the gym and uh, with a specific methodology of addressing. The uh, exercise sequence and uh, and everything you know that has to do with uh, practicality at the gym, but also the philosophy, as I mentioned uh, in the tips earlier, about never to do anything that is uncomfortable, about being empowered from the inside out. So I embraced that philosophy, and within a couple of months, all my injuries disappeared, uh, my weight stabilized, I got my body back, I got my life back. Okay, so it was amazing, and since it is kind of like a, a, a best kept secret that that method and philosophy is so so powerful, yet not too many people know about it, and it's a shame, because in my mind, for what I see, it will revolutionize the the, the fitness industry completely. I call it the new paradigm in fitness consciousness, because that's what it is. And uh, so I made a career transition. I put my dancing shoes down momentarily. I'm thinking about picking them up again now. And I dedicated my life in uh, bringing the message out. So I wrote four books. I'm in the process of writing another one, which is going to be published towards the end of the year. And I, now I'm on a mission to tell everybody the good news that, yes, you can get your body back. And it now, doesn't have to be hard. And Baltisa, before you go on, help us understand because I know you uh, said that you, you know, went through all these hardships and you made the sacrifice and you and it paid off and he saved your life. But after having gone through and trying everything, what was like what, a defining moment or something that you saw or he said that really helped you make the decision and see that it was worth it to invest the time and energy in um, his program? Well, you know, that is a great question. Thank you for asking that. I, I went to his office and I had a long conversation with him and he explained to me the philosophy and I had never heard anything like this. It, being an athlete, for me, it was always about doing more. Uh, it was always about uh, don't listen to the pains in your body, just keep going, the show must go on. And that was the first thing, and it was the only thing that I had never heard of, uh, you know, and and that really puzzled me. I was thinking, how can that be? How can you, how, how can you get results 
doing that, so that was, it triggered me, but I had never tried that before, and I tried everything else. So, you know, I had asked the universe for the answer, so it was like, huh, maybe there's something here. And the the other thing that really uh, pushed me also to to make the decision is that Dr. Fitness USA has been developing this technique for over 45 years, and the track record is amazing. And and so he's worked with hundreds of, of people before me, and he has, like, testimonials and, and pictures, before and after pictures that are not Photoshopped, by the way. <laughs> you know, he has pictures, like, from... Yeah, from, that's a good uh, point. Yeah, you know, and I, I mean, he has an album of uh, pictures from 30 years ago. You know, pe- Photoshop didn't even exist then, right? And, right. But, yeah, yeah, so the pictures were going, I was going, whoa, wait a minute, these people don't even look like the same people. Uh, but what the testimony they were saying, they were all saying, what I'm telling you now about the transformation and the inner transformation and the conscious awareness and the connection with spirit, I mean, on all levels. I mean, there's hundreds of people saying just what I'm telling you now in writing, in audio, in video, you know, as the years went by, the technology changing, right? So there are letters from the 80s. And I, I read all this and I went, wait a minute, this, there must be something here. And to be quite honest with you, when I think about it, I'm surprised that none of these people really... Uh, took upon themselves to do what I'm doing now, to bring it out there to the public. But on another hand, maybe the world wasn't ready to receive it either, you know, because it is really revolutionary. And uh, But I'm here now, and I'm here now to tell people the good news. But that was, that was what made me jump, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, awesome. So I know with you now being on a mission to tell the world and share with the world, um, is that why you wrote your book, How to Lose Weight and Look Good with Strength Training? Or um... Absolutely. Yes, yes. So the books that I wrote prior, I have a few books, so How to Lose Weight and Look Good with Strength Training is the last one. And I wrote it specifically to talk about the philosophy. It does, it's not a method how to. In other words, you're not going to get the techniques in that book, but you are going to get the philosophy behind it, and it is a synopsis of Stephen's life. And if you like, when you read this book, it's almost like if you were sitting in his office for six hours listening to, mm. to you know what I mean, to the philosophy, yeah. the the myth about fitness, and yeah, it's kind of like if you sat with him for six hours or maybe a whole day, whatever, you know, and he was like having an amazing consultation session with all your questions answered. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So so if you want to know more about the, the philosophy and what this is about, then that is a great book to read, and, and especially for women because, too, okay, but women, you know, we grow older, we 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 have a lot of issues we have to deal with physically, and he's he's dedicated his life uh, to help women uh, make those transitions. So he's actually it's just something that he's done always. So it's very very knowledgeable, and there is hope, you know. So that's a great book to to read uh, as a first introduction. Awesome. And so I know that it saved your life. And do you have um, any? friends who have like seen the benefits and you know because i know sometimes when we when, when there's something amazing or, or there's something that really makes a difference sometimes it's hard for people to wrap their minds around the fact that this is you know truth and so have you been able to bless or convert your know, friends they see th- just through your life that like really thing we should grab hold to absolutely i have i am a walking testimonial of the of the um changes that happened. So I definitely um, have a, a great number of followers, and, and uh, it's a revolution. Let's put it that way, definitely. And and what I'd like to add, though, is that now that I have written those those books about the philosophy and and uh, specifically more about Stevens, Doctor Fitness USA's life, I I am. Taking it a step further, because I have 
as you read in my bio, I have uh, some uh, five healing modalities that are um, alternative healing modalities that I have uh, been certified over the years. And now I see the connections between these techniques and u- universal and esoteric truths a little bit like when what people when people think about yoga, you know, they think about a different lifestyle, right? They think that you you can do yoga and become enlightened, and you know, and maybe or may not be true. Maybe when it originally started in India, it was more uh, more of a spiritual practice. I think now uh, it, it's become a little bit uh, it's changed. You know, people see it more as just an exercise. A, a practice uh, in some way, but there is that connotation of of uh, spirituality and exercise that people think about when they think of yoga. And I, the way the way I see it is, this method can do the same thing. It's a matter of consciousness. Okay, it's a matter of consciousness and how you approach it. So now I'm in the process of writing my next book, which is uh, stronger than medicine. I called it. And I'm really excited because in this book, I make the connection between esoteric truth and this method so that this will complete the cycle, complete the circle of body, mind, spirit on a total new new level. Because that method is already, to me, the new um, consciousness, the the new fitness consciousness, the missing link, if you like, and with my book, uh, Stronger Than Medicine, that's coming up, then I will really uh, connect the dots, if you like. So really excited about that. Yeah, that sounds amazing, Stronger Than Medicine. I like that name, too. It says it all. It does. And, and, you know, uh, if I may add where that, that title came from, it's actually a student of ours, that uh, she's a dentist, and she's, um, she was uh, asked by three surgeons to have a surgery on her shoulder, okay? And uh, she started our program, and now it's two years, and she never had the surgery. She now is pain-free, uh, no, no need of, uh, you know, having that surgery. She would have had to be like uh, eight months in a sling. And, I mean, it was a really big deal. And uh, one day she gave us a, te- a testimonial, and that's what she said. She said that that program is stronger than medicine. And so that became the title of my next book. It actually came from, from a testimonial, so wow, from a dentist, awesome. from a doctor, you know. So that's, yeah. that's pretty pretty good. Yeah. Uh, that really helps too to you know put it in perspective and see um, that was really powerful just to even hear like you said it saved her eight months being in a sling and just all these different things and that would have affected her um, you know professionally and with her business and you know her need to use her hands and lack thereof so that mm-hmm. was amazing yes and, and uh, you know I want to add something uh, it, it is to me, it's like this program creates miracles, but there's one thing that uh, people need to understand is that it doesn't it doesn't come overnight, you know. And, I mean, you would find that you get strains right away. I mean, there are benefits that happen immediately, like for me with my injuries, a couple of months, you know, three, three months, whatever. But the, the, the really the miracle, the, what the difference is is because it's sustainable. You see what I'm saying? Like the the dentist I'm telling you about now, she's two years still practicing it. You know, there we have um, uh, people on the program thirty years. I've done the research and I looked back of the the, young, the students that were in the eighties and I've tracked them and I see that they're still practicing the program thirty years later and they look good. You see, this is the key. It's sustainable, it's empowering and so people can make those lifetime changes. There's a lot of things about fitness right now that are they, they promise a lot of things. Get a new body in 90 days. Uh, you know, lose a pound a day for 30. Days, whatever you know, and you can do that, and and uh, and maybe it works, but it's temporarily because you can't sustain those. You know, 
and uh, and the body keeps changing. It's, it, we never arrive. It's it's a, it's about the journey, not not the you know. It, so so the sustainability is really what to look for in in the fitness, and that's what uh, provides those long long term changes. It's great. You know that is a key point, and thanks for adding that. Um, because sustainability and the journey, it's a process. And um, I appreciate the fact that you reminded us all and the listeners that it it won't happen overnight. There will be some, some changes that they will see. Um, but that's one thing that separates this program, sounds like, from, you know, trends and heights and fads, uh, you know, just the upfront honesty and the fact that it's it can be sustainable and lifelong. Yes, exactly. You got it. Yeah. Bautista, so share what's, um, besides the book, is there anything else you're doing, or what else would you like to share with the listeners before you go? Okay, so we have great news. We uh, are going global. So that's very exciting because right now, up to now, the programs were more available on a one to one basis, which made it a more, um, you know, just for the the one that, that could actually be here or or uh, afford it, you know. But we're going global, so we're very excited. We are in the process of forming the International Institute of Body Design. So we will have certification programs, so personal trainers will be able to be certified in this modality. We are also putting some program online now, so people can start uh, uh, like uh, with a membership site, they can start accessing some of that information. This will be in place within, uh, we hope, a couple of weeks to a month. This is in the making. It's happening, and it's happening right now. So we're really, really excited that within now, just a couple of weeks from now, we we will be able to start offering uh, some of this knowledge globally online and then of course there are uh, consultations that can be done for for more individ- uh, creating more individual uh, guidance if somebody wanted it but um, you can find more information about that at drfitnessusa.com so stay tuned make sure to visit the site often because we're going to be posting all the exciting things that are happening um, you know, and they're happening now. So that's drfitnessusa.com and uh, doctor is DR, the short version. So we have a lot of good things. Um, the launch of my next book, which is going to be happening uh, towards the end of the year. And as part of those programs that we are about to put online, I wrote an ebook that's going to be probably available online. Uh, next week, I hope to see this is all happening like right now, which is really exciting. And that ebook is something that every woman, uh, every woman needs to to read. It has all uh, the definitions of the different types of exercise modality, what they do, what they don't, the downfall, uh, and there's a lot of misconceptions in fitness and. This book alone, it's, it's short, it's 50 pages, but this book alone will change, will change your life and how you go about your fitness. So I definitely, every woman needs to, and it's specifically written for women too, and for women uh, suffering from endometriosis, for, from breast cancer, it's, it's a health book that will guide you towards the right uh, fitness choices, available probably next week. So stay tuned at drfitnessusa.com. So thank you so much for being on the show today, Bautista. Well, thank you. It was a great pleasure. And uh, you know what? We are also uh, putting on a YouTube channel, so make sure to everybody go to our YouTube channel, youtube.com uh, backslash Dr. Fitness USA, and subscribe because we got lots of good videos and tips and free, uh, you know, so make sure to go there and uh, and get fit, get healthy, and be happy. <laughs> yes, very cool. Well, ladies, that's all we have time for today. Wasn't that an amazing interview? And I know I say that as about uh, all our interviewers, but we have amazing interviews. This has been LJ, your host, 
And you can find me on personalpowerwithin.com. Be sure to check back next week here on Amazing Women of Power, the world's leading positive programming network, powered by Raven International. Take care.